Concerns emerge over funding for the Faith West Project in West Lafayette. Good evening, I'm Jeff Smith. And I'm Gina Quattrochi. The city of West Lafayette's involvement in a multi-million dollar church project is coming up against some opposition in the community. News Channel 18's Alex Dyro sat down with both sides and brings us more in tonight's top story. A multi-million dollar church project is the focal point of recent objection by national religious freedom groups after the West Lafayette City Council voted 6 to 1 to issue a 30-year low interest rate bond to help fund $7 million of the Faith West project. But some in the community feel that the city's aid in obtaining funding for the project crosses the Indiana Constitution. Because every part of this institution is religious, we feel that the government should not be involved with it in any way. West Lafayette Mayor John Dennis says the city is only hoping to support the faith operation in its endeavors to bring more economic development to the longtime vacant lot. There's apartments, there's daycare, um, there's a, uh, a fitness center. You know, that, that is actually where we're, that's where, the, that's where the bonding is being directed towards. Because they've, they've actually, for the faith-based operations, they've actually had private donations. Faith pastor and leader Steve Byers says he very much believes in separation of church and state, but feels the city isn't doing anything that crosses that line. This just allows uh, religious organizations access to the same kind of bond financing that any nonprofit would receive. But there's no special treatment given to our church. Any nonprofit organization has access to that. On first reading, the West Lafayette City Council voted 6 to 1 to issue the bonds. The city of West Lafayette is hosting a public meeting on the bond issue Thursday at noon. The decision then goes on to the Economic Development Commission before heading back to the council for a second and final reading. Alex Dyro, News Channel 18.